Hello, my Nilu fam. This is a fish and shrimp recipe that I'm sharing with you. I know you'll love it, and I promise you, you'll get repeat requests. So, let's get this ball rolling. All right, here are all the ingredients that you need for this dish. Check the description box below for more details, please. All right, I have two catfish fillets. As you can see, I split them down the center because they are very large. We got these from HEB. So we're gonna just do what it do. Now we're just gonna start seasoning our meat just like you would any other piece of fish. Just season it and season it well now because you want your fish flavorful. All right, here's my secret ingredient that I'm sharing with y'all. So this mayo on this fish is going to take it to the next level. I promise you, when you try it, you're going to love it. And if you want to get it even more flavorful, you can add all your seasonings in the mayo as well. But don't forget to season the fish too. All right. Now I'm spraying my uh, pan with some olive oil spray you can use vegetable or canola whichever you prefer and then you just lay your fillets on top Side. We're just going to slather the other side with the mayo. Now I'm adding my paprika so my fish will be really, really pretty. And then I'm placing it in the oven. And while my fish is in the oven, I'm going to season up my shrimp with some Tony Satchers. And I'm, of course, I'm going to put in some paprika to give that color, baby. Yes. All right, my fish is done and it is looking beautiful. Look at that. Y'all got to make it, it's delicious. Now we got to get the shrimp on top. All right, let's add in our butter and it's going to get nice and hot like it is right now. And then pour in your shrimp. Cook your shrimp and flip it over. You don't want to overcook your shrimp. If you do, it's going to be very dense. So just make sure your shrimp are pink, not uh, clear and translucent, but pink. And then just remove them out of the skillet. I use this huge skillet. Why? I don't even know, but I did. So don't laugh and don't ask me why I use the skillet, but I did. So now we're going to add a cup of heavy whipping cream and the rest of the seasonings the seasonings are listed in the description box below people please my babies please look down in the description box and then i'm adding paprika for color yes and we're going to cook that up and add a little um pepper in there you can use ground pepper but i prefer um fresh pepper and i'm just adding my shrimp in and cooking that through just a little bit and then voila it's all ready and ready to be poured on our fish. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can pour it over some uh, grits. You can pour it over mashed potatoes, rice, eat it by itself. I tell you, it's finger licking good and lip smacking and toe tapping. 